But how feasible do you see that? Because no. you were saying that that has been shrouded in so much political controversy. Uh, so much so that when you mention the PIB, the first thing people are thinking about is what is going to go to communities and what will not come to them. They're thinking about money uh, that's going to accrue to the different communities. Do you really think that uh, we can pass the PIB as it currently is? Or would you say that mm. we come up with something else and perhaps name it something else that doesn't evoke that kind of memory? Mm. Well, uh, when we talk about passing the PIB or, uh, in, in its present form, you have to ask the question what, the, what that is, what is the present What's form, the present form? <laughs> of the PIB, and I'm not sure there's anyone who can quite tell you what it is. Mm -hmm. For those of us who have been interacting with that uh, piece of draft legislation, there are easily so many versions, mm -hmm. as you would have heard. You know, so um, the watermarked one is not the authentic version? I'm not sure. There are several watermarked mm -hmm. ones. Mm -hmm. sure. <laughs> you know, but again, that shouldn't be a, an extremely difficult um, uh, thing for us, I, you know, and, and I tell you what I mean, is that law by itself does not stand in a vacuum. Law is usually um, in the context of of policy, you know, and I think there is consensus by <coughs> all those who concern themselves with it that the OGIC document, you know, very well articulates you know, what we want to see with the petroleum industry. Yeah, it, 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 it's in, term, in broad terms, you know. So we can go back to that sort of reference point and do a complete redraft. Now, whether it is one piece of legislation or several pieces of legislation that must be passed almost simultaneously, we need to deal with it somehow. Yeah, now so there are people who have suggested perhaps that uh, maybe we should just take the fiscal terms, you know, tax regime and royalty and all that, and pass that and leave the others. I don't think we can do so. Because the moment you mentioned that you were going to change the law and, and suggested that you were going to overhaul the entire legal framework, uh -huh. you know, you basically put the investment and invest in community on notice that that's about to change. You know, and until you effect that change and they know about it, then you will continue to see the current atmosphere of, of, uh, of stalemate, you know. Truth is that we haven't mandated any major project in over 10, in almost 10 years. You know, we, we're, we're probably in almost 10 years. The divestment gives the illusion of activity, but they, it's really musical chairs. So it's just passing, in circles. Precisely, you're passing, producing, or maybe sli sometimes slightly dormant assets to, but it's within the, the ballpark of our, of our reserves, yeah? Now, we haven't had reserve replacement uh, in a while, as a result of which about two, three years ago, you know, the DPR director then, I think, uh, Lauren Schola, uh, sounded uh, the alarm that for the first time in many years, our reserve base uh, had declined, you know? So, uh, when we go back to the first principles, i.e., as a serious people, muster the political will to say, where do we want to take this? You know, wherever I go to, and you know, you mentioned the question, the, the, you know, the PIB or whatever, the response you get from the international community is just tongue in cheek. Yeah. You know, people just can't believe that, you know, for a single uh, resource economy, that the <laughs> governing law is the subject of perpetual discussion for over 10 years now. Hmm. Yeah, but you know, so what I would want say, to believe that this government will master the political will to, to address it. Someone would say that, you know, yes, that is possible. I mean, in terms of finding a law, it might take time. Uh, I mean, what is something a government ultimately must do? Mm. Are you saying then that there's very little that can change in terms of how the affairs of the NNPC are run? Uh, unless the laws change? No, 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 no. I mean, I wouldn't even suggest that. And I, I probably made that point uh, a lot earlier that, you know, within the current paradigm, mm -hmm. you, which is why I say optimize. Yeah? I mean, it's, uh, it's almost as if you have a plot of land, mm -hmm. you know, and there's so much you can do on that plot of land. But if you want to build a university, in all likelihood, you want to acquire a bit more land. Because even if you can develop upwards, yeah, you probably want uh, play fields and, and, the, and the likes of it. 
So within the current paradigm, you know, I believe that, you know, with focused leadership at all levels, mm -hmm. the NMPC can, can, can do much more. Then what then do you think will change? I mean, what, what kind of changes should we be looking to see then? If, while waiting for the laws to be passed or while waiting for new laws to come up, mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. you know, some changes can happen at the same time within the NNPC, what sort of changes should we be looking forward to then? Well, I mean, uh, what NNPC has been largely accused of, you know, um, to date, and is the subject of an ongoing inquiry, is mismanagement of the proceeds of crude sales. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and so that is a quick win there, that if uh, those leakages are identified and blocked and revenue is remitted, you know, but NNPC hasn't been accused of incompetence in terms of its capacity to manage uh, the government uh, share of joint ventures or indeed has not been accused of any other kind of uh, the technical I, I thought somebody the I, I is usually say government maybe in most cases or some cases don't yeah. fulfill their own part of that Bargain. JV and so mm. we find ourselves in a situation well okay all those are things that you know uh, and all those are things that uh, the the law was hoping to fund, you know, all the things that you can fix by that sort of holistic uh, reform uh, of the industry. You have to rethink, perhaps, uh, government participation in, in operations at the moment, you know, and uh, sometimes I think that the responses you hear from people is quite more emotional, you know, because when you think about government take, yeah, the government take is Government take typically is the sum of what it gets from tax, from royalty. If it participates in a joint venture, then it's its share of, of that. Now, you can decide that in the current uh, in the current uh, scenario with declining uh, oil revenues globally, that's not NNPC's fault or anybody's fault. That you cannot afford to employ the bulk of your revenue in funding. Okay. Uh, petroleum operations. So you can't decide, as a matter of fact, to maybe yeah. sell down your interest in joint ventures, or in fact, uh, give it up to private operators and then uh, take tax and, uh, and, and, and royalty. Well, we'll expand that a little further, but let, let's quickly get the headlines um, out of the way. Uh, Anne Wilder is standing by with that one, so we'll go to her. Uh, we should do that now. <laughs>